give us this day, O Lord, our daily bread. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by the word of God. There is a bread you need daily for living. It is not physical bread, it is God's word. Stop starving yourself spiritually. It is okay to overfeed yourself spiritually. So, welcome to the dining table where God's word is served today. So welcome to the 6612 podcast. It is an audio devotional Bible study coming to you every day. Don't miss it. Good morning, everybody. I trust God that we are having a wonderful time in His presence. All this why that we've been um, fellowshipping um, in the audio devotional podcast, which is the 60s 12 podcast. Let us pray. Gracious Father, our Maker, our King our defender, our comforter, our provider. We say thank you for all the wonderful works you've been doing in our lives. Even when we don't see them to be wonderful because of our small eyes spiritually, because of the works we don't understand, we say thank you. For we know that all things work together for good for us. We say thank you, Lord. Even as we go about our daily activities, starting with our devotion this morning, we ask that you open our eyes to divine revelational insights. We say thank you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, um, brethren, um, today we'll would continue and do the last part of uh, Matthew 12. And yes, yeah, the last part of Matthew 12. And um, we're we'll starting from um, 38 down to the end. The sign of Jonah. One day, some teachers of religious law and Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Teacher, we want you to show us a miraculous sign to prove your authority. But Jesus replied, Only an evil, adulterous generation would demand a miraculous sign. But the only sign I will give to them is the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was in the belly of the great fish for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. The people of Nineveh will stand up against this generation on Judgment Day and condemn it. For they repented of their sin at the preaching of Jonah. Now someone greater than Jonah... Now someone greater than Jonah Okay Now someone greater than Jonah is here But you refuse to repent The queen of Sheba Will also stand up against this generation On judgment day And condemn it For she came from a distant land To hear the wisdom of Solomon Now someone greater than Solomon is here, but you refuse to listen. When an evil spirit leaves a person, it goes into the desert, seeking rest, but finding none. Then it says, I will return to the person 
I came from. So it returns and finds its former home empty, swept and in order. Then the spirit, then the spirit finds seven other spirits more evil than itself. And then all entered the person and lived there. And so that person is worse off than before. That will be the experience of this evil generation. As Jesus was speaking to the crowd, his mother and brother stood beside, asking to speak to him. Someone told Jesus, your mother and your brother are standing outside. They want to speak to you. Jesus asked, who is my mother? Who is my brother's? Then he pointed to his disciples and said, Look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does the will of my father in in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We ask for divine revolutionary insights. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, quickly, uh, it's quite lengthy. But the Holy Spirit would help us. Now, um, Jesus Christ was speaking and said, One day some teachers of the religious law and the Pharisees, they all came around and they were asking for a sign. A sign for them to know that, okay, what you are saying is correct. What you're saying that you're really the Messiah, you're, you're Jesus, you're, you're the son of the living God. They wanted a sign from, from God. From, from Jesus, yes. They wanted a sign from him. And he said, he told them, he said, this is an evil and adulterous generation that are looking for a sign. But the only sign I will give to you, Jesus speaking, he said, is the sign of Jonah. Yes. The sign of prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was in the belly of the great fish for three days, and three nights, it says, so also the Son of Man will be in the heart of the head for three days and three nights. Now, the sign of Jonah, you all know how Jonah, Jonah was running from the Lord and he entered into a ship, wanting to run from the instruction of God. God told him to go to Nineveh, while he entered the ship, going to another direction. So, the, 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 the ship was uh, about to sink as a result of the turbulent storm that was that was um, shaking the the ship Jonah knew this and he knew that he was the solution for the problem so he confessed and he offered himself for peace to reign so that the rest of them in the ship would not die and because of this because of this Jonah saved everyone in the boat he sacrificed himself so that everyone in the boat would not die so that they would leave and they would cross over to the other side in the same form jesus came to offer himself to save you and i and to save everyone believes in him he came and he offered himself he laid himself on the cross and he was crucified. He says, so as Jonah did, so also Jesus did. Now Jonah went ahead and he was in the belly of the fish for three, day, uh, three days and three nights. Now Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. And after he came out, when the fish vomited him at the, the seashore of Nineveh, the people were surprised. They were amazed. They were like, wow. Do you mean this man was, was brought here by a big fish? You mean this man was swallowed and then he was brought out? The miracle of his entrance alone went ahead of him. It was a miracle. 
So he, it drew attention, and when he preached, Nineveh stood still and they repented. They believed what they heard that um, Nineveh preached to them. The same way and the same capacity, our Lord Jesus Christ came. Uh, he came and he did so much great wonders. He did signs and wonders. He did miracles. And still, they refused and they did not believe. They caught him. No, he was not escaping. They, they, they held him and they crucified him. He was in the belly of the head for three days and three nights. And then he resurrected. And still, though the people of Nineveh saw what happened in Nineveh, they saw what happened to Jonah, and they repented. Jesus Christ have died. He resurrected again to manifest power. In fact, he's dying and coming back to life was manifestation of great power and miracle but still but some persons have made their heart so strong and adamant to accept Christ as their Lord and personal Savior they still feel that the preaching of our Lord Jesus Christ is a fallacy is is something that is a joke. Someone once said, What if you discover at the end of the world that the Bible was just a novel, that Jesus Christ never came to die and all of it? I was like, What was inspiring you when we were thinking all of these things? See, pe- persons and people still feel. Christ coming to die for us on the cross of Calvary it's, it, 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 that it was a joke brethren let me tell you something honestly the death of our Lord Jesus Christ will never make sense to you, some persons now in fact it will not make sense to a lot of us now until that very moment when we die that moment when we're standing and we're seeing our flesh lying down wherever um, the flesh will be and we are going to meet our creator to be judged then it will make so much sense to you all the messages your pastors have been preaching all the sermon all the books you have read all the exhortation you have received will be running to your will be running through your head in in a flip of finger all of them will be so real to you but meanwhile it would be too late to accept Christ as your Lord and personal savior if you have not it will be so real now it will be difficult for you to come back and repent because there's no there's no repentance after death. As at that time you have met with death. Someone was said, Oh, he said Christ is coming, Christ is coming. When would he come? <laughs> A father of mine said, If Christ does not come, he delayed in his coming. What if you die? And you go and meet him. Has he not come too? Funny enough, in this dispensation, we only we, we, we have the hope and believe that yes, we we'll live long. Yes, with long life shall the Lord satisfy us. We will live up to 100, we will live up to 80, 90, as the case may be. Yes, that's hope. That's faith in the Lord. But what if the Lord choose to call you home now? Don't say you are too young. There are a lot of young persons that are younger than you, that are